November 7, 1917. The Bolshevik Revolution takes place in Russia. Forces led by Vladimir Lenin overthrow the provisional government of Alexander Kerensky. What eventually emerges? The Soviet Union, the world's first communist state. 2000. Thanks. Uh, I give you a Americans vote in a presidential election whose outcome remains in limbo for more than a month. The race between Republican George W. Bush and Democrat Al Gore hinges on Florida's disputed electoral votes. Bush becomes president after a legal fight that leads all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Also that same year, Hillary Clinton becomes the first first lady to win public office when she's elected to a U.S. Senate seat from New York. This happens 74 years to the day that Jeanette Rankin of Montana becomes the first woman elected to Congress. 1962. Former Vice President Richard Nixon tells reporters after losing the California governor's race, As I leave you, uh, I want you to know, <laughs> just think how much you're going to be missing. You don't have Nixon to kick around anymore. Because, gentlemen, this is my last press conference. But Nixon makes a comeback just six years later when he wins the White House. 1940. In Washington state, what's considered one of the most dramatic failures in bridge engineering. The middle section of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapses during a windstorm just four months after the suspension bridge opens. No lives are lost because the bridge was already closed to traffic at the time of the collapse. 1918. Those Ten Commandments stand. They are God's moral law, and when you break them, you have sinned. Billy Graham, the evangelist known for his global preaching and his friendships with American presidents, is born in Charlotte, North Carolina. 1991. NBA star Magic Johnson says he's retiring from the Los Angeles Lakers after testing positive for the AIDS virus. And 1943. The day paradise put up a parking lot. Joni Mitchell, singer and songwriter, is born in Fort McLeod, Alberta, Canada. Today in history, November 7th, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.